So next step is to actually enable the preprocessor plugin. So let's start. Uh, first, let's go to the Cypress integration and let's delete the examples because we no longer need them. So that's it. Then we need to go to the plugins and index. And now we can actually delete this as well as this. And on the top, we need to create a const cucumber and we need to require Cypress cucumber preprocessor dot default like this and then we need to go to that export and here we want to call on function and it has two steps first is file preprocessor and then we want to call that cucumber function like this so just do it like this this is the way to enable the plugin to actually start working within our repository there is nothing special about it just do it like this and when you are done we need to go to the package json to finish the step two and that is right below the dependencies we need to create uh, first don't forget to use the, the comma and then we need to use cypress cucumber preprocessor and here we need to specify a value of non-global step definitions and set it to true because this will bind our definitions to our features so non global step definitions and we need to set it to true and save it and that's pretty much it i hope i didn't have any typo here let me just double check well it seems good and i think we are finished with our setup and configuration and we can jump to do features so yeah see you in the next video